Hey everybody, I'm Zach. Welcome to the Espresso Vibe. Today, we're gonna to be exploring the Extractamundo dose profile on the Decent Espresso machine. This profile just came out with the most recent app update and it is the latest and greatest, most cutting edge way to utilize the Decent Espresso machine. Let's check it out. So let's take a look at the profile and see what it tells us about it. So the main information you can see here is it's telling us that we want it to end at 2.5 to 4 milliliters per second on the flow rate and then it's gonna be a turbo style shot. So that gives us a good basis uh, to start exploring. And here's our first shot coming out pretty quick with that expected high flow rate for a turbo shot. Very pretty color, but just gushes so much more than I'm used to. And here's the shot finishing up and a, a little view of the chart here. Three milliliters per second is our maximum flow rate. And here's shot number two. On this one, we made the grind one setting more coarse, and you can tell it's flowing very, very fast. Still very pretty, and not gushing violently or anything, it's just pretty fast though. Maximum flow rate is just under 3.5 this time. So the two shots on the videos I pulled yesterday, um, and then I pulled two more today using the Extractamundo dose profile, and they came out similar in the same ballpark. And I feel like I have a pretty solid opinion now that I can share about what this profile is doing. I enjoyed these shots quite a bit. So the coffee I was using was Myanmar from Sump Coffee, and the tasting notes it has on the bag are peach, strawberry, and mint. Now, when I was using the traditional, the more traditional extraction profiles that I'm used to using on the Decent, mainly the Londinium style shots, as well as the Cremina and the Blooming shots, all of those had their own nuance, but all of them had a stronger body, a much more significant and wide uh, palette feel um, for the body of the coffee. Whereas these turbo shots, all four of them that I've had, had an extremely clean mouth feel. The fruit flavors were very much in the forefront, but with the Londinium style shots and the Cremina, I was getting a very um, strong chocolatey sort of mouthfeel with it. And that was brought down quite a bit uh, with the Turbo style. The Extractamundo dose brought down the uh, body in a way that brought up the clarity quite a bit. And I, I enjoyed it a lot, actually. This is, a, like I said, a new territory for me, but I'm feeling like inspired i'm feeling like i see i see the light i see i see what people are so excited about with the turbo shots they, so they were great I, I think all four of the shots were awesome i w can't ask for for any more out of my espresso oh another note on the last one that i pulled i threw some oat milk into it and i did one part espresso to two parts oat milk by weight and i was really surprised um, what it did to the body of the coffee. It seemed to bring this sweetness forward in it that had this graham cracker kind of sweetness that was not there in the original cup. It seemed like the milk brought the sweetness to the forefront and the way the uh, fruit notes combined with it was, was very pleasant. It was very pleasant. So thank you all for watching and joining us. Uh, comment down below if you have played around with the Extractamundo dose profile or if you've played around with different turbo shots i would love to hear your comments and your opinion how many seconds do you normally shoot for with a turbo shot how many seconds do you do on the Extractamundo dose do you not even care about the seconds of extraction and you're more worried about the flow rates or the maximum uh, pressures etc i would love to hear your opinion so thanks for watching bye